first of all, congratulations on such an incredible final season of The Expanse. I really enjoyed watching your work with Bobby from beginning to end, and I thought season six was such a good way to end things. So um, to start, tell me, what has it been like for you taking in the fact that, at least for now, your journey on The Expanse has come to an end? Oh, it's been, um, I don't know, it's been a little bit surreal. It's been, because because we had to shoot in COVID, we didn't really get to do the big um, farewell and, and, you know, have the rap party and things like that. And we just kind of got shipped off to our own places. But yeah, it's 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 kind of sad <laughs> it's all right I think I think um I'll always be good friends with that group but it is quite sad that we're not going to be shooting the show together anymore for sure yeah and now let's talk about the finale itself I mean that assault on the ring station in the finale has to be one of the most breathtaking battles of the entire series so can you take uh-huh. me through the shooting process of that whole sequence that was a long, I think we shot there over three days. Um, yeah, Wes and I, Wes and I did a lot of yoga and stretching before we had to get into those suits for, you know, 12, 14 hours. But um, it was really uh, well organized. Breck Eisner was our director for those two episodes and he had like storyboarded everything. We had Zoom meetings, we had talked about what side I was going to shoot on and, and everything like everything was very intricately planned out and Wes and I just had to not complain too much really and get the job done but it was a long couple of days and there were some moves that we had to do that felt somewhat impossible that we pulled off which was amazing. Mm-hmm. And I love that moment when Bobby just launches herself at the rail guns and takes them out herself and mm-hmm. she's always been pretty fearless in the heat of battle, I think. But how would you say that this scene especially defines her character? Mm, I think I think that that was the moment that she had been preparing for, you know, all the training and everything that she'd done her entire life. And, and um, I, I know that there was no fear behind that and it felt very right for her to do it. And yeah, I think anything to save the people that you care about and that you're fighting for. And it was just... She had no other options really and so it made sense and as I said before she's got no fear and um and she was ready ready for that moment no fear around dying that one (laughs) yeah I love that and um season six for Bobby was so great I think because she spends a lot more time with Avis Rala and the Rossi crew than she did the last two seasons so how did you feel about being more involved with the rest of the main cast in season six I loved it I've those I mean I've I've been friends with all of them for for years now and somehow I was always on my own kind of journey and they all got to hang out but um, I loved it it was so nice to be able to be back on the Rossi and for things to be okay because I think the last time Bowie was on it was like season three and she was very pissed off about um something that uh oh someone defaced the Martian flag as Amos right and yeah so I think it was nice to um come on and and be sort of welcomed on and and not feel any tension with any other of the crew. Yeah. And um, I love the relationship between Bobby and Amos that we see in season six. Mm -hmm. Um, There's such a fun dynamic in their interaction. So how would you describe their relationship at this point? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I'm like, we should have done this sooner. This is great. Um, I don't know. it, It was just sort of, uh, it made a lot of sense because they're both kind of a bit rugged and, and a bit silly and and tough and you know all those but they're also both kind of love to have a laugh and joke around and kind of get, love to give each other shit and so it really worked well that they put us two together and I mean Wes and I had a great time because we're good friends in real life and I think it really showed in that relationship on screens. Mm-hmm. And I also want to ask you about that scene in episode five when Bobby or Amos asks Bobby to come with him to the brothel and she responds by saying with you or with you I was just wondering if you have an idea in your mind of what happened when that scene ended what did Wes say um I did not ask him oh um I think she I think she goes but I don't know if she I think they go together but I don't know if they go together or if they ruffle together (laughs) (laughs) um 
So then at the end of the finale, um, I think it's cool. We see Bobby piloting the Rossi for the first time. How do you mm-hmm. feel about where things are left with your character? Um, I, I was so happy with that ending. I, I feel like it, it, there was just, I think Bobby was really content. I think it was like her, truly her first time since she was, you know, training as a Martian soldier where she felt a sense of camaraderie and a sense of belonging and, and ease. Um, you know, there's that funny moment where I like, um, you know, I don't know, make a joke with Holden or something um, at the end. And, and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as serious and as intense as it was at the beginning, but it feels like she's got her own little family again, which I really thought was a way to end that. Mm-hmm. And so obviously fans are hoping that this isn't really the end of the expanse with three books left to adapt. I'm curious, what's the feeling among the cast concerning future TV or movie projects? Um, with The Expanse or other jobs? With The Expanse. Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, we're all really hopeful. I think we all love working with each other and we would happily do um, any more. But I mean, I don't, I don't really know how it's going to go, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what would it mean to you to get to step into Bobby's shoes again one day and get to finish off her arc from the books? It would feel really good. I mean, I probably w- w- won't be there on, in the last, last season, but um, but um, yeah, it would be nice to see it all kind of come out in, in, in the show because I know that the fans really care about it and especially book readers that can kind of see the whole thing play out on on screens and I know that that would be really special for them yeah I think it would be so um obviously Bobby has such an incredible arc over five seasons in the expanse but I'm wondering who's your favorite character arc other than Bobby oh oh that's a tough one uh gosh Oh my gosh, they're all really good. Um, you can say more than one. I mean, I, I, I loved, I loved um, Amos's journey, Drummer's journey. Holden is also really different to how he was at the beginning. Um, so is Avasarala. <laughs> gosh, I mean, yeah, all of them, I guess. It's hard but to pick one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe Avasarala or Holden, because yeah, when I saw the X-ray um that that Steve did, I just forgot how jovial and youthful and kind of different um Holden was at the beginning. So it was it was quite nice to see that. Yeah, that's the great thing about the Expanse. Like everybody really does change from the beginning to the end. It's so yeah. great to see. So, um, yeah, yeah, so, um, well, can you tell me what was your last day on set like, and what was the last scene that you shot? Yes. Okay. My last day was actually the x-ray that I did with Wes. Um, yeah, there was a Saturday. (laughs) I brought my speaker and I played like Biggie Smalls and stuff and we danced our way in and then we fought for like eight hours. (laughs) It was great. <laughs> was that exhausting? It was. It was. Especially like, okay, let's be real. Like Wes Chatham is a unit and I'm having to strangle him and fight him. And he was just like so strong, even when we were pretending. And so I was basically working out all day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when you look back on your entire journey on the expanse, what do you think is your biggest takeaway? Mm just the the wonderful relationships and friendships that I that I made and and the things that I learned as an actor and how how to conduct myself on a set how to break down a script how to communicate with the leaders and um not be afraid to have an opinion about a character that I know a lot about and but yeah but the biggest thing I'll take away is just like how much I love those people that I worked with Mm -hmm. um so I think like one of my favorite things about Bobby is how she wears the power armor so often. And whenever I see that on screen, I always wonder like, how does that 
feel as an actor to be in that suit all the time. So can you tell me about that process of wearing the power armor all the time? Yes, it's hard work. It is. It's it's very constricting and very heavy, but um, I think just like the audience, whenever I'm putting it on, I know something big is about to happen and it always pays off. All the blood, sweat and tears is worth it. When I see how it's edited together and once I've got the visual effects and everything, it's just incredible. But I will be taking a, a very long break from wearing anything like that in my real life for a while. <laughs> That's good. The shoppers will, will thank me for it. Yeah. All right, finally, um, when you look back on your time on The Expanse, what would you say is your favorite moment of Bobby's arc? Um, gosh, it's always a hard question. And I mean, I always kind of lean towards that last battle that you see her in, in season six. Because yeah, it just feels like this penultimate moment of her life that she's been prepared for for so long and, and ready to do. And, and to do it like with one of the members of the, to do it with the Rossi, which is full circle, because that's not who her crew were at the beginning. I think it's like really representative of her journey. Um, also, it just looks really badass and cool. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Well, Frankie, thank you so much for all of your amazing work on this show and for taking the time today to chat. Um, I really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best in your future roles. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you.